Come on. This offer got a contract for me. Might do if you're willing to partner with me. Usually work alone. Could pay to make an exception this time. It's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter north of the Yaruga, Jenga Fred himself. I'll bite. What's the famous Jenga Fred need a Witcher for? I'm guessing you're a man of the world. Perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels. You hunting them? Aye, quite the rogues they are. Three of them, and every one's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. Even took to grave robbing lately. Easy to recognize on account of the yellow caps they wear. Folks see three yellow tops, they flee to their huts. Which don't help much, of course, because they're also fond of arson. No, haven't met him. If you do, tread careful. They're quick to stick a knife in a man's gut. Often just by way of greeting. Doubt they'd try that with a witcher. You never know with that lot. Right, well I head south soon. Haven't looked there yet. Fare you well. You might meet again someday. That was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. The Griffin 
this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain shore, but here, we're near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Perhaps monsters crazy sometimes. Men too. We need to watch ourselves at White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Witches. I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn! This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. 
The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. Once we were many, now we are few. Hunters, killers of the world's filth, witchers, the ultimate killing machines. Among us, a legend, the one they call Geralt of Rivia, the White Wolf. We meet again, Witcher. Your Imperial Majesty. She's returned, Geralt. After all these years. Are you sure it's her? Yes. And she's in danger. Witnesses claim the Wild Hunt follows her. You must find her. And when I do, what then? I shall give her what she deserves. White Wolf, at last. I come for her, but the prophecy. Every decision you make will bring devastation. Each choice will lead to a greater evil.